Number three, Oregon takes care of business in five innings. They get the win over Stanford and the sweep of the series. Nine nothing today in game three. Crystal Blunk and Danielle, Lori and Danielle, the Ducks didn't waste any time again today. They got it going in the first inning. Yeah, yet again, Max showing what she can do with her speed. And then you have Svekas comes up and hits one straight to the wall. It's able to score Mac and really get them on the board early, which they like. And then it was Rhodes. She continued to have success every single game. Hits the three-run dinger straight away center. Clearly, she's feeling it. Nine ribbies on the weekend. And, and there's yeah, the winning pitcher for you right there. Kleist in the circle. Exactly. She just needed one run on the day, but they decided to give her nine and used every Everything that drop, that change up, went upstairs a little bit, really had these Stanford hitters off balance. Did, did five, it. yeah, five strikeouts for Megan Kleist there. The numbers, how about 14 hits? They really did have the bats going, and you hope they can take that momentum into the postseason. And I, I agree, that's a big number, 14 hits, for them to be able to look at that and go, we were able to put that up. Stanford's pitching is not probably what they're going to be seeing when they hit postseason, but the fact that they're able to put up that amount of runs as well as that many hits shows that I think they're in a great spot moving forward in postseason. Quite a season of Pac-12 softball, and this series goes to number three, Oregon. They outscore the Cardinal 26 to two in the three games, and they got the run rule win today. We appreciate you being with us for Pac-12 softball on pac-12.com.